Good afternoon everybody. In this lesson I want to talk to you about playing a G7 chord. Okay, we've learned in a previous lesson the G major chord. This is similar, it sounds similar. And you're going to be using the three first frets. So don't worry about my right hand, watch over here. Frets number one, two, and three. Take your pointy finger or your index finger and put it on the first fret bottom string. Now take your second finger, or your middle finger, I'm sorry, and put it on the second string from the top second fret, and then your ring finger just kind of goes natu naturally right on that top string on the third fret. Okay, and that's what it looks like right there. Three different frets, three different strings, three different fingers, right? Easy enough. And See, it sound, sounds kind of like a G, but not quite. Make sure you don't have too much buzz in there. Okay. All right, let's go over that one more time now. Your pointy finger goes on the first fret, bottom string. Your middle finger goes on the second fret, second string from the top. And then your third your ring finger, excuse me, goes on the third fret, top string. And this kind of feels like your fingers are being stretched out a little bit. So don't worry if you have small hands or you aren't flexible. It takes time and you'll, you'll build up over time. So you don't really need to have big, strong hands to be a really great guitar player. There's lots of people have proven that. So don't worry about that. Okay. Don't forget to check your strings. Make sure, see, I do that to make sure they're all clean, because otherwise you won't get a nice clean sound. And that's it. And, oh, and you can switch to the G7 to the G pretty easily. You may have already seen that in one of my other videos. Okay, try to practice for an hour a day. Don't forget to tune your guitar at least once, preferably twice per day. And we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now. Happy autumn. First day of autumn.